edition of The Dating Game. That's right, The Dating Game, Latifah style. <laughs> Over the past year, I've had a lot of fun setting up celebrities on dates. We did The Dating Game with comedian Cheryl Underwood, actress Florence Henderson, and singer Tony Braxton. But you know, sometimes you find someone in your own hood or office who can use a little help with their love life. And one of my celebrity producers, Craig Tomashoff, was nominated by my staff to get a jump start on his dating situation. Because by his own admission, he needs a hand. Craig, <laughs> Craig is a divorced father of two who's smart, he loves to cook and write, and he has a wicked sense of humor. Before I set him up, I wanted to hook him up with a new look, so I sent my stylist, Tim Snell, on a mission. Take a look at what happened. Hey, Craig, I'm here for you. Okay. I hear you're looking to go back on the dating scene, so I'm here to update your look with a modern update. Are you game? I was seriously not informed. Um, <laughs> well, this is what a surprise is all that, about. Yeah, okay. But listen, I just want to take you and update you a little bit and, you know, make you ready for going out on your dates and for love <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. Are you game? I, I guess I'm You want to yeah. play? Um, that means head to toe. What are you saying about my head? We're just saying head to toe makeover. That's all I'm going to tell you now. So the I'll whole thing, you. not just head to toe. But not head to toe, but the whole package. We're going to take these jeans right here. We're just going to make put you in a dark jean, a dark jean that you can wear. Can you call from it a jean intervention? No, not a jean intervention. Okay, we're right, just going to call it. We're calling it a modern update. Okay, all right. And then good. the sneakers are great for you on the weekend at home. But when you're coming <laughs> to work and when you're looking for a love and you're looking for to change it around a little bit, we're going to put you in a great robe, something nice that you can wear with everything. That's that, what I'm now, come on, let's I'm go to makeover. All right. Makeover. So let's go. Before we bring Craig out and see his new look, let's meet our three eligible bachelorettes who have not met Craig. <laughs> Ladies, you can remove your blindfolds. And here they are. <laughs> Bachelorette number one is a radio host with a passion for cooking, shopping, and her dog, Molly. Please welcome Lisa Stanley. <laughs> That's where at number two says she's looking for a guy with a huge heart. This Pilates instructor loves to read and travel. Welcome, Denise Pazienti. <laughs> and that's where at number three is a writer who enjoys the beach, teaching yoga, and spending time with her two sons. Please welcome Laura Stevens. <laughs> now, Craig has been backstage in a soundproof area, and he couldn't hear a thing. Here's Craig before the show. <laughs> Come on out, Craig! <laughs> Give us a good pose, Craig. You look like new money. <laughs> From head yeah. to toe. Can I do a butt shot? Can I do this? No? <laughs> <laughs> Wicked sense of humor, remember, guys? Thank you. Do Craig, I you look fantastic. Have a seat. Thank you. Have um, a seat in the hot seat. This is for me. Oh, yeah. All right. This is for you. You look snazzy, Jet. Look at you, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, right? <laughs> well, it has been a lot of fun finding ladies. You produced this, so you know how it works. I do. I, uh, you ask questions, and then you pick based on the answers. Are you ready? Uh, no, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> jump in, jump in, Craig. All right. Just jump in, all right. all right. Let's start with a hello so you can hear how they sound. Mm -hmm. Bachelorette number one, please say hello to Craig. Hi, Craig. Oh, hello. <laughs> Bachelorette number two. Bonjour, no Craig. All right. Wow. And Bachelorette number three. Hey, Craig. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Bachelorette number one. I've got some rapid fire questions for you, and you tell me the first thing that comes to your mind as soon as I, uh, as soon as I say it. You ready? Ready. NPR or TMZ? Oh, TMZ all the way. Iggy Pop or Iggy Azalea? Iggy Azalea. Text or talk? Text. All right, Bachelor at number two, same thing. NPR or TMZ? NPR. Uh, 
Oh, I got a reaction. <laughs> uh, Iggy Pop or Iggy Azalea? Oh, definitely Iggy Pop, baby. All righty. Uh, text or talk? Talk. Oh. Clearly right. defined line. Feel free to, you know, yeah. react. Come on, I got to react. Uh, bachelorette number three. My son's going off to college next year, so I'm going to have a lot of spare time on my hands. What hobby should I take up? That's a tricky one. I would say something drastically different from what you do in your career. So, I don't know, maybe something that would drop you into the moment, like woodworking or painting. Okay. Uh, bachelorette number two, same thing. Me, of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh! Hey, now! Okay. Let me just, uh, let me make a note. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bachelorette number one, I like a woman who can laugh at herself. What's the dumbest thing you've ever done? How much time do we have? I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, that's a hard one to choose from because there's been some dumb things. But uh, let's say uh, when uh, I was trying to get out of the kitchen early to make um, an appointment on time and I was cooking fondue and I threw hot water into hot oil. Oh! oh. And guess what happened? I blew up the kitchen! <laughs> All right. then, then, uh, if we have a date, I'm not taking it. <laughs> I don't do that going, anymore. Going straight to a restaurant. Uh, bachelorette number two, I respect Latifah's opinion when it comes to my personal life. Give her one good reason, you're the one for me. One damn reason. <laughs> one. Oh, one. well, Craig, there are so many reasons, but uh, honestly, I have an incredibly uplifting spirit. I'm a very positive person warm, caring, and baby, you can cry my shoulder anytime you like. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, back to number three, same thing. Um, I'm just a really patient, loving person who also has a really good sense of humor. Oh. That's good now. Uh... That's important. That leaves us with bachelorette number one, same thing. Well, despite what I just told you earlier, I'm a really good cook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that sound, that sound means we're out of time, Craig. Yes. Craig, I like these ladies. You got a tough decision to make. Well, Craig, will you choose bachelorette number one, <laughs> bachelorette number two, or bachelorette